Hi, my name is Kim Tank, and this is New York uh, Filmmakers Focus. And I want to tell you a little bit about myself. So um, when I was younger, my parents never censored me against anything. I was able to watch any kind of movie, which means I was exposed to some pretty great films. If it had violence or whatever, I wasn't just um, exposed to just PG-13. So, you know, I watched Scarface and um, all great movies like that. And um, it was very motivating and inspiring for me. My first screenplay that I wrote myself was uh, when I was 11. And it's called Clueless 2, the sequel to Clueless. <laughs> and uh, I wrote it up when I was 11, and I sent the script to Brad Renfro. That's a little embarrassing, but <laughs> I think I had a crush on him at that time, and I thought he'd be the perfect actor to play the lead uh, actor for the, the lead actress. And I wrote the screenplay, sent it to his fan club, and I didn't get a, re a response back. So maybe because it was 40 pages long, it was a feature-length film that was 40 pages long. I don't know. But uh, I forgive them. Um, then after that, I didn't write a screenplay for the next 15 years. Um, I had finished school. I went to college. And just going to put everything out there that <laughs> I went with something completely different, um, kinesiology and biology because my intention was to go to physical therapy school. And I'm um, still interested in that now, but um, I just ended up coming to New York because uh, I knew a lot of people here and I thought, why not? So I got here and a couple of my friends were taking screenwriting classes and they told me I should get into it. So I got into it, I fell in love. I forgot, you know, at 11 I wrote my first screenplay. So uh, it was a pretty uh, easy process for me. So. Then I knew that was uh, my calling, that's what I should be doing. And um, as of this day, I have five screenplays written, and I just keep redrafting it, redrafting it until, of course, it's ready to go. Because you want to make sure it's, uh, of course, it's never perfect to a screenwriter. Your work is never done. But, you know, I still have a little bit of ways to go before I end up getting an agent or selling it off or maybe making it myself. So in the meantime, when I'm not writing screenplays, I still like the entertainment business. And uh, I help a couple of producers with their screenplays. I uh, critique other screenplays. And I help with uh, marketing. And so I'm getting to know the process of filmmaking just by helping other people. And um, I'm also uh, assisting with a couple online shows. One of them uh, is Absolutely. I'm the producer for that. I come up with the news and then we film him. And he puts his stuff out there, so look for that, absolutely. And I also make, um, I guess you can call it short little stories and music videos uh, for a couple of, well, a few talented uh, musicians. One of them is Rose, uh, Queen Rose. She's a violinist, and she has an incredible video out there called uh, Building Bridges. And the talented Angelis Angelina Roz, I've produced three videos for her, so go check that out, YouTube, Angelina Roz. And for myself, I'm still styling and, like I said, producing music videos, helping. All my work can be found at copycatting, copycatting with a K, uh, dot wordpress.com. I'm also on Instagram, uh, Crazy Life Simple Style New York. And um, yeah, that's about that's me. And I hope you can follow me and uh, see where I go with things. I'm very confident that things will happen and I'm excited to do all these projects so uh yeah follow me on copycatting.wordpress.com and i'll see you on the next new york filmmakers focus thanks